Hello, and welcome to an overview of DaVinci's Revival Digital Film Restoration System. My name is Sean McKee, and we're here in Chicago at Screen Time Images, a company that specializes in film and audio restoration. With the amount of classic films and archival footage that remains unrestored throughout the world, a tool set is required that provides high throughput, ease of use, maximum flexibility, and most importantly, the highest quality results. Revival is the only system that answers these needs by providing both a standalone turnkey system as well as software that resides on any discrete effects and editing system, allowing real-time access to the discrete stone array and libraries. The systems are virtually identical, with the standalone system offering its own I.O. and storage on a cost-effective Linux platform. The standalone system also is ideal for a digital intermediate workflow in that it offers open file system access, uh, which is ideal for working with other DaVinci products on file systems such as XFS and CXFS. Both systems take advantage of distributed processing through the Revival Powerhouse platform, which allows many functions to happen in real time. We're going to go through the features that make Revival an indispensable tool in any restoration workflow. One of the first things that has to be done before any restoration begins is to get to the original 24 frames a second of film. Uh, in many cases, this is very easy to do. The cadence is correct across all real changes, but sometimes you'll receive uh, material that's on videotape that doesn't have an original film source anymore, and these tapes have many times been edited and the 3 2 pull down cadence has been broken. Revival provides easy solutions for removing this, detecting where the cadence breaks are, and easily repairing them. The next thing that we're going to do is a scene cut detection. This allows us several benefits in Revival. One is that it allows for scene by scene processing with different settings on every scene. It allows automated splice damage removal on cuts. It allows VSRs in the color corrector, which are icons representing each scene. And it allows EDL support. The automatic module in Revival is a powerful set of tools that enable you to quickly and easily remove a variety of artifacts. Since we've already taken our clip and broken it into multiple smaller segments, we can apply various settings on each of these clips and process them simultaneously. Revival gives you powerful tools for dirt removal, easily removing 70 to 90 percent of dirt, from small specks to fairly large debris. Next to color correction, Grain reduction is the most subjective process in film restoration and mastering. Revival gives you many options for achieving the look that you and your clients desire. Both spatial and temporal processing is available, and aperture control is available for sharpening images. Scratches are some of the most difficult artifacts to remove. Revival gives you a variety of methods to remove these troublesome vertical lines. As you can see here in this clip, we've got a moving scratch. You can simply draw a region of interest, and Revival can track the movement of the scratch in any of the RGB channels. Revival can also automatically remove splice damage. Many films have visible splice marks on either side of a cut, and there is now an easy way to remove these, saving yourself hours of manual touch-up time. Many films show signs of dye fading and deterioration, or sometimes during telecine transfer light can get into the gate, causing flicker. Here we see a clip that alternates between green, yellow, and blue flicker. By choosing a reference frame, it is very easy to smooth this out. And then by adding a bit of color correction, we have made this shot look natural again. Revival provides several automatic and interactive tools for image stabilization. Here we have a very hard to watch clip of some home movies that were shot handheld. The result after stabilization makes this much easier to watch. Stabilization is a major benefit when it comes to MPEG-2 encoding for DVDs. By eliminating the need for so many motion vectors, the encoder does not have to work as hard in determining the difference between one frame or another. This enables and allows for a better quality encode at both constant and variable bit rates. Here's a shot that shows the full power of the system.
Although Revival's automatic processing can remove a large majority of the artifacts, some larger artifacts will require an operator to go in and remove them using Revival's interactive manual tools. Revival offers several different brushes for painting out large artifacts. Brushes can have soft edges and can reveal paint from any reference frame, and also clone from any reference frame with offsets. The brushes have the unique feature of being able to paint from one RGB channel to another, which is useful when you have a clip that's got dye fading in one of the RGB channels. You can also have automatic luminance balance when reveal painting from one reference frame to another. Interactive region of interest tools, unlike brushes, use motion estimated interpolation to remove the artifacts and can use a reference frame based on the direction of the swipe of your pen. Previously, before the introduction of Revival, one of the more difficult tasks to perform was the interactive restoration of panning or tilting shots. This is one of my favorite features in that it gives you the ability to take any reference frame from either direction and line it up, you know, if it's tilting, so that when you start to paint, you're revealing from the previous frame, but with the lined up offset. And the other feature is that you can automatically align it uh, by the push of a button and the computer will determine what the best alignment is for it, and it will track that alignment over a series of frames. As easy as it is to remove splices on scene cuts in the automatic module, it's equally as easy to remove splice damage and other large debris within the middle of a scene, as we can see here. In this scene, we can see an example of splice tape in the middle of a scene that is zooming out. Revival makes it easy to take this out using, again, motion-estimated interpolated algorithms, or as I like to call it in, in this tool, morphing, to remove this type of artifact. And as we can see here, this is with the tape, and this is the result afterwards. In the last example, we use the splice damage tool to morph out one frame of damage. In this example, you'll see that there is quite a bit of debris and large debris that covers her face when she's talking. This will require the ability to morph several frames, which Revival does give us the ability to morph up to 50 frames. This shot required most of the tools present in Revival to achieve the results that you see here including the automatic tools, dirt reduction, grain reduction, deflicker, interactive tools such as hand painting, uh, the different brushes, the motion estimated interpolation tools, uh, region of interest tools, as well as the morphing present in the splice damage tool. Films that have been stored improperly can sometimes begin to warp. Revival provides a tool that can help you eliminate this problem. Other tools available are the Interactive Stabilizer and the Interactive Scratch Remover. These tools provide additional functions for more complicated shots. DaVinci, the leader in color correction technology, has integrated a color restoration module into Revival. Revival's color restoration module includes primary controls, secondaries, a user-definable window with soft edges, eight memories, and VSRs. Powerful new features like auto white, gamma, and black balance make it easy to restore faded film. Another innovative feature is the ability to track color balance across a scene for your master lift, gamma, and gain controls. So our first scene here is faded red, and with the controls we have at our disposal, it's very easy to bring it back to a good color balance. As you can see, it's very quick and easy to make adjustments to color balance and achieve a nice look here. All right, so here we can place our window, make a nice little highlight, can move it around, soften the edges. Here's a shot that's faded red, and as you'll see, it's quick and easy to bring it back to normal color balance. One of the unique features about Revival's color restoration module is the ability to make adjustments in real time while the clip is playing. Here's a split screen of our shot. And here's some nice before and after examples.
Thanks for taking this tour of Revival with us. As you can see, Revival is the most comprehensive film restoration system on the market today. From automatic tools to interactive tools, 3-2 pull-down cadence handling, format conversions, and of course the powerful color restoration module, there's really nothing that Revival can't handle. From classic films to archival footage, new film mastering, or DVD pre-processing, Revival is the only system that you'll ever need. Revival is restoration.